Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just open a brand new tab. And then once you're there, you're going to go ahead and type in canva.com. That's C-A-N-V-A dot com. There should be no S, just C-A-N-V-A dot com. And you're going to press enter. Okay, once you're there, um, you'll notice on this side of the screen, you have two options. You have sign in and you have login right now or sign up you should be under sign up because it is your first time logging in if you have already logged in then you can go under login okay but since it's our first time if it's your first time doing this you want to do sign up if you've already been here and you have an account then you want to press login okay we're going to go through um, as if it was your first time signing up so go ahead and click up here where it says on the other side of the screen you'll have the sign up with Google. Um, that's what I need you to do. I need you to sign up with your student account. So go ahead and sign up. You're gonna click on that. Now I already have an account with my teacher account, so I I can't show you those steps. Um, so instead, I logged into a personal account of mine, and I'm gonna create one using that one so that you guys can see exactly what you're gonna have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my personal account down here. And then it's going to open up a new window for me. Okay, this new window, it says, what will you be using Canva for? So if you were doing this for personal stuff, you'd do that. Um, teachers would be here, small business, large company. It's going to depend on what it allows you to use. Because you are a student, I would suggest putting student. It's going to give you more um, tools that will help you when you are a student. Do not press teacher. Do not press personal. Um, you will not be able to change it afterwards. Okay, so student. And then here it's going to tell you to invite your team um, and collaborate on your designs. You're not collaborating with anyone at this point. So you don't have to do this. You can possibly do this at a later time if I ask you to do something that allows you to collaborate. But right now, you're just going to skip it. Right here it says skip. Go ahead and skip it then. Okay, and then it's asking you to start your new design. So it shows you, or your first design, it shows you different ones that you can start with. Um, if your first time, I mean, just click on one so that this goes away. It doesn't really let you click out of it. See, I'm trying to click out, or if I press escape, it's not letting me. There might be a, a good way of doing it, but I don't feel like, you know, doing that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on any one of these. And then once I get here, I'm actually just going to go home. And it's, you know, it's going to allow me to just go home to where I'm supposed to be. This is the home landing page. So this is where it's going to take you when you log in every time. Um, as you can see, you have my name and um, you can tell what account I'm using by the image. Uh, once you are here, there's you can go ahead and explore. There's different options for you. You can create a, a design um, and it tells you like different things you can do. Logos, posters, presentations, flyers. Um, so Canva is a really good website, even if it's just for personal things. If you want to make a collage of you and your friends, um, you want to make a background to put on something, you want to make uh, a car wash poster, anything like that, it's actually really good. And it already has designs that are already um, built in so that if it's, you know, if it's something that you need to get done quickly, then you can just choose something and then change the font and maybe adjust it to what you needed and then you're good. But for our part, we're going to be creating from scratch. We're going to go into a blank page. So right here on this side where the menu is at, you have create a, des a design. And so you're going to go ahead and click on that. So click on the create a design and you're going to go. I want you guys, you can do poster, you can do flyer. A flyer is going to be a smaller page, um, which might be easier to use. And a poster is going to create a larger page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on um, poster for this time. So we're going to click on poster and I'm going to um, go ahead and connect my Chromebook before I die. So give me a second. You guys know this always happens. at the worst time but <clears throat> okay so once you are on this poster section again it shows you the different type of posters that they already have that you can use we're not going to use those so this little arrow here will hide this away from us this is your menu this is where you're going to be um, adding things from but before you do any of that you need to go onto the file 
And you see how it has a little pencil right here. This is actually the name of your poster. So we're going to pretend we're doing a poster on Africa. That's just our, our title for our poster. And then you guys will have to put Africa and you'll have to put your name. So I'm going to go ahead and put my name and then the period the period that you're in. Right now is my prep period, so I'm going to put period five. But obviously, you'll put the period that you have me um, for history. And um, that's already going to give you the title. You'll see the title pop up here, right? Uh, so that's already taken care of that. And you have to put your name and your period on there so that I know who is submitting the work. Okay. Once you are done with that, you'll notice you have a menu over on this side. Okay, so the first thing that's on here is templates. Again, we're not going to be using those templates. Those are the pre-made ones, so I'm just going to um, hide that. Uh, you have photos, elements, text, videos, backgrounds, and uploads. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a background. Go ahead and click on the background. Um, you'll notice there's a bunch of different backgrounds. You can actually search backgrounds. Like if I want to say um, angels, I don't know. It has an angel background and you could use that if you wanted to and it will apply it to your um, to your design if you want to go back to white one just click on the white again I'm gonna go with just a regular color I really like this color so let's do that and I'm gonna hide that so that I can see my design then um, I will go from the background I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you guys that you can use grids you don't have to use these but you can um, you go to elements and this is just different things that you can add to your design which of course you don't have to do but um, it'll make it easier um, the, the one that I like the most is the grids you um, click on grids and it shows you how you can divide your poster um, into sections so that it's easier for you to like create right so let's go ahead and we're gonna use let's use this one here and see how it divided it um, for me and you can still see my background color in the back in the line section if you change your mind you want to delete it you can um, you can choose a different one let's say we're doing I don't know let's click on this one here let's say we want to do that one okay that's good now you're done with grids and you don't want to be in this section anymore you just go back to elements um, sometimes they'll make you click back and then here you have other things that you can use you can add shapes you can add frames to an image you already have you can add what they call stickers which is a little bit like emojis but you know kind of like um, you can I think they have an emoji section actually you can add charts gradients lines um, different things okay we're not going to do any of those I really only wanted to show you the grids on there um, then after you have a grid we're going to go ahead and add an image which you guys will want to know how to do so you go to where it says photos okay and you'll notice that some of these photos have a little crown on them the crown means that you have to pay for that for that photo or you have to have Canvas Pro. Um, Canvas Pro is like their paying version of this program. So you don't want to do that. Um, you want to make sure that you are using the free images. So again, my poster is about Africa. So I'm going to maybe search up Africa here and I'll get a few different designs. I like this one. Let's put that one in there. So the grid just kind of aligns things to where you might want them. Okay, maybe I want this picture here and maybe that one there. Maybe I want this coffee picture of Africa and maybe this giraffe, right? And maybe this little kid here. Okay, there, I have my pictures. Um, you don't have to use the grids. You can arrange it however you want. This just makes it fast. Okay, um, let's say I actually don't want this image. I click on this and I'm like, you know what? I don't want this. I'm clicking right now on the whole grid, but I want to click just on the image. So you're going to go to delete and it's going to say, do you want to delete the image or do you want to delete the grid? Okay, so I'm going to say I'm going to delete the, um, the image. So I'm going to just delete the image. I don't want to use that image. I'm going to hide this so that I can get a good look at what I'm doing. Um, then I am going to... Um, let's say I want to remove the grid well I just click on here and I put delete and it removes everything so you want to make sure you only do this if you're really sure that's what you want to do you can undo so you can go ahead and click that and keep what you had um, but you just want to make sure that what you're doing is what you want to do okay once you um, let's say they just didn't have an image that I liked 
I'm going to go where it says uploads and I can upload my own image. So right now I don't have any uploaded images. So I'm going to go over to Google and then I'm going to search up Africa. Okay. And then I'm going to go into the images for Google. Okay. And then let's just say I like this one here. Okay. When I click on it, I'm going to save as image. So you're going to right click and you're going to save as image. And then your saving will come up here. Yours might look a little bit different because yours is a Chromebook. I'm just going to say Africa and map. Okay. And I'm going to save it somewhere where I know I can come back for it. Okay. Once I have it there, I'm going to go back to my other tab. I'm going to upload. See right here, it says upload image. Click there and it's going to show me Africa map. I'm going to open that and see how it's loading super fast. If you want to, you can just make um, look for all your images first and uh, upload them all at once. You don't have to do it one by one. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag it and drop it into where I want to um, have it. And since that background was um, had a clear backdrop to it, my background color is showing up on it. Okay, so now we added an image. We added an image an image from Google and we added a grid in the background. So now if you want to um, add text, you go here where it says text. This gives you basic uh, information that you can add. So if you want to add a heading, you put that in there and it's going to be on here. Um, it shows up and maybe this is where my Africa title is going to go. Then when I have it, I'm going to click on it. And actually here you guys can see you have the zoom in button. So I might want to change it so that I can see what's going on, right? I'm going to change this to a larger size because this is a poster size. Um, I'm going to have to go pretty big for it to show up. Okay. Uh, if you do a flyer, your numbers will look different. So I'm going to go ahead and make that 150. And then I'll go back here and go back to fit so that I can see it all together. And I can actually, once I click out of it, if I click on it, I can move it around, you know, like that's where I'm going to put it. Um, you can put subheadings, a little bit of text. So if you want to just write out information, um, you can just write, oops, and do that. Um, you can just click on here and it's going to add a little section for you to add text. I'm going to zoom in again so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to say different things. I don't know. You're just going to write whatever you want to write. Okay. And um, you can make this bigger so that it shows up again. So you want to make maybe 150 again and it will show up. And you can move it around how you want to. So right now it's showing up pretty big, right? Um, you can put a change the font color here for, for it to look different. Uh, you can, I'm pretty sure you can put a background um, color. No, that's just copying and pasting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and not choose that. And we're going to let go. Um, also, if you want to just add something that's already here in that style, it will give you that style. So I'm going to delete this one. And let's say I want to write something like this. Okay, I can move it to a different spot. Uh, okay. Okay, and then when you go up here, I'm sorry, it's just sometimes if you're not sure what you're doing, it's annoying. Okay, let's go back to fit so we can see. So we can actually make this text bigger. Let's say 150 again. That's gonna make it huge. Let's make. Um, let's undo that. Okay, so you can add text and change it up if you need to. I'm not going to try to do that because I'm running out of time and I feel the pressure. But um, you can move it and you can see how these are different things that are grouped. You, you can ungroup them so that you can move them individually, right? So if you want to just move one section, then you would just click on that section and it would separate from the other section that you have there. Okay, so that's text. And of course, you can remove it, remove it if you'd like. Um, if you want to, let's say you already have this and you want to keep this but change the pictures, you don't want to start from scratch, you can copy this page and it creates a second version of it and then you can uh, move things around on this one, like remove the images, um, remove the text and do something else with it, but keep the same grid. Or if you just want to start from scratch, right, you don't want to keep the same grid, then you'd add a new page. So you go on to add a new page. It's going to give you the background that you have chosen, and then you can add things on here without using the grid. So let's go ahead and add an image. So 
you know what, let's go to our uploads and let's say we want to add that image. See, we can put it wherever we want and we can add things on here directly. Okay, and then let's see, let's say that you are done. You are done with your poster, you added the pages that you wanted. Um, maybe you just did one page, which is totally fine. Um, now you're going to want to save it. <clears throat> and let me see if I can, I'm going to minimize this because my recording Okay, so I minimized it so that I could um, see exactly what's going on here. Um, I'm recording, so some of my recording buttons weren't letting me access everything. So once you're ready, let's say you're ready, right? You did um, everything you wanted to do, um, and you already have the file name, right? The file is up here. Um, because it's minimized, it's not showing me the file name up here, but when it's uh, full size, it shows it up here too. Um, now you're going to share. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to um, where it says share, the share button up here. I'm going to click on that and then this comes up. So what you want to do is you don't want to email it to me. I don't want the email. I want the link. So you're going to go ahead and choose this drop down menu see how it says share a link to edit you don't want people to be able to edit this you, you want it to stay exactly how you have it because that's your final product right unless you were working in a team then you would do that but if not you only want to um, share to view so you're going to click on this and you're going to change it to share to view and you're going to copy that link you see copy link you're going to click on that and it's been copied so now it's on your um it's on your clipboard, so everything is good there. Um, you're done with this, really. Now you're going to go on to your email. I'm sorry, you're going to go on to Google Classroom. So let me open up Google Classroom. And Google Classroom. Okay. Or it's just going to show me. Let's just do this. I just don't want you guys to see my email because there's private information in there, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we're in Google Classroom. I think fourth period, I asked them to share it. Uh, and it said, it'll say something like, post your work here. It'll be something that I asked you to, um, to assign. Basically, I asked you to um, share your link, but it was an assignment. So you'll see your name, and I can go into the individual student work. Or I can go to the instructions. So the instructions, it's in Spanish, but it says just um, link your work here. Um, it's not letting me view it like you would because I am the teacher, but you'll have, you know, say link your view, um, link your work here, and then they'll give you options over here before you turn it in, and you'll paste <clears throat> the link directly onto where it says link a work. Um, and then you will um, you'll be able to see it from there so what happens is once you link it and you submit the work when i go to student work it will show me um these and so if you were in class today you'll you would have played around with this a little bit um, and just created a random poster so if you linked it correctly it will show up here if you put it in the comments which i told that this particular class it was okay but i'm just gonna ask you to link it um, as a link instead because it makes it easier for me to view but if you did link it correctly then it will show me an image here for each person so i'm going to go ahead and use alondras i'm going to open that one up and so she just concentrated on the color purple today and this is what she did right so if you link it correctly i'll be able to view um, your poster and um, grade it and you'll get your grade pretty quickly if you didn't link it correctly it'll take me a few more steps but i should be able to see it um, and since it's just for viewing, it's not going to let me make any changes for you, okay? So close out of there, and then um, it'll show me that you turned it in once you press turned in. So really, that's all that you do for Canva. So again, it's canva.com. When you go on here, if you already created your class, if you log in, usually it'll just take you directly. If you're logged out, it will take you to this main page, and you'll want to log in, right? and you'll log in with google i'm gonna go ahead and log into my teacher account this time uh so that you guys can kind of i think i have a few examples for you okay so if you go if you scroll down you'll see where it says your designs these are things that you created so this is one that i created in class today uh during third period i named it after one of my students just to show that you're supposed to name it like that so that's 
that's the name, the student, and the period, but of course they didn't create this, I did. And then um, you can add the second pages, and um, when you share it, again, you want to make sure that you're sharing to um, view, and you copy the link.